We're here today at the Gateway Church um, on the border of Dolmarnock and Bridgeton. We're here because we've got a great relationship with the church. They're really, really good people. We've teamed up again with Islamic Relief UK, who we've partnered with several times over the past few years. And really what we're trying to do is provide food for around about 500 families in our communities who are struggling. And everybody knows that we're in a cost of living crisis at the moment. It's really, really difficult. So that's why we've got together again with Islamic Relief UK, who are really, really good to be with. Um, and we'll get this food out over the next 20, 40, 48 hours. We're supporting 500 vulnerable families with uh, essential food, with uh, cash grants, uh, through vouchers. And we've been working with Celtic for the last three years to support the local people in Glasgow. Uh, and over the last couple of years, it's just we've seen the need. The need has actually grown since COVID. And now with this energy crisis, the food crisis world that we live in, it's more than very essential that we support the people that we have in Glasgow. Driving the church this morning, the radio said that uh, almost 17% inflation in the last year in food prices. The average food bill for an ordinary family is £800 more this year. We have to open the doors. It's been a joy today to partner with the Celtic Foundation and the Islamic Relief Foundation to pack 500 bags to feed hungry people all over this city. But we can, all, we can only do as much as we can, uh, but every bag represents one family. And if we can help 500 families today, then today the partnership across the board has been more than worthwhile. This problem is, is not going away anytime soon. We've partnered up with eight local schools uh, here in the east end of Glasgow, the north and east of Glasgow, and they're saying to us, you know, some of the schools are saying we would have taken three or four hundred of those just for our school. Um, so, you know, we could do much, much more. Celtic FC Foundation uh, at heart in the east end of Glasgow, and throughout Glasgow, uh, throughout Glasgow, and they've been doing some great work over the last number of years, and it's a pleasure for Slavery UK to be partnering with them and working jointly to support the people in Glasgow and reach out to as many people as we can and raise awareness of what we're doing. At the end of the 19th century, the football club was set up effectively to generate this financial surplus that would go and feed people. You fast forward 135 years and you know it's still a requirement for a lot of people, not just in, in this community here, but in our other communities in London and in Ireland, some international stuff as well. There is great need and we can't do, you know, we can't do everything, but we can, but we can do something to help. If you're interested in finding out more about the many Celtic FC Foundation projects and initiatives on offer, please visit CelticFCFoundation.com, email cfcfoundation at celticfc.co.uk or call 0141 551 4321. Celtic FC Foundation can also be found across various social media platforms.